Hello, everybody. I just wanted to start by saying I hope you are having a merry day, that I am thankful to be here today, and that I know you will love the product I'm going to share with you. Have you been wanting to take your use of the Big Shot to the next level? Well, with our thin-lit dyes, you can do just that. This particular set I'm showing is the Expressions Thinlets. Now these die cutting tools could be considered close cousins to our framelits and edgelets, but they allow for even more intricate cuts and detailed designs than we've been able to do before. Now these dies are great to use as an embellishment on a project, or you can use the negative space to add layers and details to your cards or scrapbook pages. Let me offer some tips for using these dies. To use the thinlet, I am going to get my big shot right here ready to go, and then I'm going to grab my multi-purpose platform, and I'm going to use that on tab two. Uh, to get my cut. For today's purposes, I am going to use our magnetic platform, and that will allow my thinlet to be positioned exactly where I want it. And then when I actually do it, I want to make sure that I'm putting this that's so thin, right, you want it to go in the right direction. So even though, you know, this side is a little more detailed, you want to make sure that's next to your paper. And you want to make sure that even though this is the magnetic pad, that you use the cutting pads, the magnetic platform that you use the cutting pads. So let me get my paper in place. We will put my thinlet, the right side, right there. And we'll get my top cutting pad. Now, because this is really thin, as the name would suggest, and the cut is really intricate, you may want to use a shim, and that's due to some variances in material when you put it through the big shot to get the best cut possible. And something else you may consider is going back and forth through the big shot a few times to make sure that the cut is what you want. So I've run it through just a few times. So let me get the big shot out of the way. And then, of course, I have my cut. Now, when you get to this part right here, you may find that it's a little difficult to get your paper out of here. If that's the case, you can tap it a few times, and then it should just come right out for you, and you are ready to go. Something else you could do, another tip to get this out, is you could actually run the thinlet through the machine with some wax paper in between your cardstock and the thinlet itself, and that just helps ease it out. And then plus, you have a little wax paper of the, of the word right there that you could use on your project if you wanted. And of course, for some reason, if it gets stuck in there, if it gets stuck, we've designed it with some holes in the back right here so that you can use our paper piercing tool to just punch it out, and voila, you have your words right there. So with those tips under consideration, the world is your oyster, and you can use the thinlets to make projects like these. So enjoy, everybody, and have a merry day.